Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will start discussing soil formation and development. For the first part of this lecture, we will first discuss the different types of rocks and minerals. Let us first talk about rocks. Rocks are solid materials that are made up of one or more minerals. And there are three types of rocks that are called igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks are those rocks that are formed through the cooling and solidification of magma and lava. While sedimentary rocks are types of rocks that are formed by accumulation or deposition of small particles or sedimentation and subsequent cementation of mineral or organic particles on the floor of oceans or other bodies of water at the Earth's surface. The last type of rock is the metamorphic rocks. This type of rocks are those rocks that have been changed by heat and pressure. These rocks are formed from the metamorphism of the original rock, may it be igneous, sedimentary, or existing metamorphic rock. This illustration shows how the three types of rocks are being formed. Igneous rocks are formed from the cooling of magma. And when igneous rocks undergo weathering or erosion, well, this can form sediments. And these sediments, when exposed to compaction and cementation, can form the sedimentary rocks. And when these sedimentary rocks have been exposed to heat and pressure, it can form the metamorphic rocks. So this is the cycle of the three types of rock formation. Now we move on to minerals. Minerals are solid substances that are present in nature and can be made up of one or more elements that are combined together. So these are some examples of minerals. We have the gypsum, the dolomite, the calcite, the halite, and many others. So this time, you might ask, what is the difference between rocks and minerals? Rocks are made up of minerals, and minerals are within rocks. The minerals in rocks are what makes rocks look different from other rocks. Let us now take a look on the different examples of igneous rocks and their mineral content. One example of igneous rock is the granite. It is a felsic intrusive igneous rock. Felsic means that it is rich in silicon, oxygen, aluminum, sodium, and potassium. While intrusive means that the slow cooling process of magma tends to form large crystals in this kind of rock. Another example of igneous rock is the peridotite. It is a dense, coarse-grained igneous rock and consists mainly of minerals such as olivine and pyroxene. Olivine means it is rich in magnesium iron silicate minerals, while pyroxene means it is composed of inosilicate minerals or chain silicate minerals that has this formula, which means it could have Elements such as calcium, sodium, iron, and many others. Gabbro is another example of igneous rock. It is a coarse grain, dark colored, intrusive igneous rock. It is usually black or dark green in color and composed mainly of plagioclase and augite. Plagioclase could be an anartite or an albite. Augite is a kind of pyroxene mineral. Another example of igneous rock is the basalt. It is a mafic extrusive igneous rock that was formed from the rapid cooling of magnesium and iron-rich magma. The last example of igneous rock that I have is the diorite. Diorite is an intrusive igneous rock composed principally of minerals such as plagioclase, biotite, hornblende, and pyroxene. Biotite and hornblende have 
these following formulas. So it means this type of rock could contain a lot of elements. Let us now take a look on some examples of sedimentary rocks. One example of sedimentary rock is the breccia. Breccia is composed of broken fragments of minerals or rocks cemented together by a fine-grained matrix that can be similar or different from the composition of the larger fragments. As you can see, the fine-grained matrix here is color red, while the large fragments could be colored brown or white or gray. Another sedimentary rock is the chert. Chert is a hard, fine-grained sedimentary rock composed of crystals of quartz that are very small. Quartz is a mineral form of silicon dioxide. Conglomerate is another type of sedimentary rock. It is composed of rounded fragments that are more than 2 mm in size within a matrix of fine-grained material. Another example of sedimentary rock is the dolomite or the dolostone. It is a sedimentary carbonate rock that contains high percentage of the mineral dolomite. Dolomite mineral has the formula having calcium and magnesium. Limestone is a kind of sedimentary rock that contains calcium carbonate. Unlike dolomite, it doesn't contain magnesium. It can form organically from the accumulation of shell, coral, algae, and fecal debris. It can also form chemically from the precipitation of calcium carbonate from lake or ocean water. Another example of sedimentary rock is the sandstone. It is made up mainly of sand-sized weathering debris. Plastic means it is composed of broken pieces of older rocks and are commonly found in environments where large amounts of sand can accumulate, including beaches, deserts, floodplains, and deltas. My last example of sedimentary rock is the shale. It is a clastic sedimentary rock that is made up mainly of lazy's weathering debris. And this kind of rock typically breaks into thin flat sheets. Now we are moving on with the metamorphic rocks. One example of metamorphic rock is the amphibolite. It is a non foliated metamorphic rock that forms through recrystallization under conditions of high viscosity and directed pressure. Foliated means it is consists of thin sheets. And this kind of rock is composed primarily of hardland and plage clays, and usually it has a very little quartz. Another example is the horn fells. This is a non foliated metamorphic rock with no specific composition, and this is produced via contact metamorphism. Horn fells is a rock that was baked while near a heat source such as magma chamber, seal, or dike. Marble is a non-foliated metamorphic rock. It is composed mainly of calcium carbonate that is produced from the metamorphism of dolomite or limestone. Another example of metamorphic rock is the novaculite. It is a dense, hard, fine-grained, siliceous rock that breaks with a conchoidal fracture. It forms from the sediments deposited in marine environments where organisms such as diatoms or single-celled algae that secrete a hard shell composed of silicon dioxide are abundant in the water. Nase is a metamorphic rock that has a banded appearance and is made up of granular mineral grains. And this kind of rock typically contains quartz or feldspar minerals. Another example of metamorphic rock is the phyllite. Phyllite is a foliated metamorphic rock that is made up mainly of very fine-grained mica. 
It is the intermediate grade between the slate and the schist. The surface of phyllite is typically lustrous and sometimes wrinkled. This one is schist. Schist is a metamorphic rock that has well-developed foliation. It often contains significant amounts of mica, which allow the rock to split into thin pieces. Mica is a group of sheet silicate minerals. This rock is the intermediate metamorphic grade between the phyllite and the gneiss. My last example of metamorphic rock is the slate. The slate is a foliated metamorphic rock produced from the metamorphism of the shale. This kind of rock could be easily broken down into thin flat sheets or pieces. And that's the end of part 1 for our discussion on soil formation and development. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for part 2. Thank you very much for watching.